Hi, this is John, and thanks for checking out Zone Controller. Uh, in this quick video, I'm going to show how you can set up a zone to control just a simple light in uh, here in the, the default, or not the default, but here in the uh, Viking Village demo provided by Unity. So here in this little area, I have set up a new point light, and what I want to be able to do is when my character enters this region, I want to make that light gradually um, increase in its intensity. So, uh, first thing you want to do is, once you have zone installed, is to create a new game object. So you can go game object, 3D object, and zone, new zone. And what you're going to get is two pieces of uh, components. The first one is you're going to get your zone master controller. And this is the piece that controls all of the individual zones in your scene. And as you can see, um, there's a couple of settings here. This one here called rounding accuracy. This is something that's used inside the, the runtime engine to determine when it should, you know, finally clip over to a final value. And then uh, for each zone we have in our scene, you have a little master control here for the transition time. So if I were to go add another zone, you'd see we get a new zone, and then you'd have two that you can control here, but uh, we're only going to use one for right now. All right, so if you go to your zone, uh, you know, you want to find it and drag it into the position of where you want it to trigger. So let's kind of put it in the region we want, which is in, inside this little room here. Let's line up where we want. Yeah, that looks good. So, we've got our zone, and here you have two separate components that are installed in each zone. You've got the zone controller, and then you've got the zone configuration. The zone controller specifies how this individual zone is triggered. Uh, in this case, we're gonna run with main camera, but you could set up uh, a different collider, or you can you know, make it run up of a hotkey. So if you wanna assign, hey, I wanna be able to turn this zone on by hitting you know, the A key or B key or whatever. But we're gonna use main camera. And now we're gonna go to the zone configuration. And here is where we configure what we want our zone to do. So the first thing we're gonna look at are the settings. So if we uh, expand this out, we've got our transition time. So this is how long it takes for the, the transition to occur. So if you set it at 0.1, the, the transition happens really fast. And if you go to, to 10, it uh, takes a little bit longer. You have the ability to specify a curve of how you want your, uh, your zone transition to occur. So if you want to have it, you know, come along this spline while you're doing the transition, you can do that, or you can change it to you know, something else, you know, or whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, you have the ability to switch between update and fixed update. Um, fixed update tends to work better if your zone is configured with a lot of uh, floating point values. Um, we have the ability to specify this zone can be used this many times, so we can do you know thousands or one or whatever's good for you. And you also have the ability to do a timeout, so you know this zone will invalidate itself after X uh, seconds. So we're just going to leave everything uh, to default. Well, I'm going to bring this down here. We're going to leave everything else alone. So now we're going to look at the objects that we're controlling. So if we expand Show Objects, presently I don't have any items, so I'll go ahead and click Add Item. And I want to take my point light and drag it into that slot. So what zone has done now is it's gone and inspected all of the metadata that it could find about that light and is exposing all the properties that you can leverage. So if you want to use the balance intensity or change the color or, or what have you, those all get shown, they all get exposed here. So I want to use the intensity, so I'm going to check that guy. And then I'm going to say rebuild selected properties. And that actually puts it in the region here of the objects that are actually controlled. So if we look at our light, our current intensity is set at zero, so it's effectively turned off. But when we go into this zone, we want that intensity to come up to, you know, let's say 6.5. And that should be all that we need to do to make this zone work. So now if we click play, let Unity fire up. 
So here is the little hut we're going to walk into. We're going to trigger the zone. And now you see the light is following the curve and the time settings that we specified. As we exit the zone, you'll watch that the light turns off. So this is a, a pretty universal solution. The zone works with um, you know, any, any property of, of, of anything it can find. So let's say that, um, let's go to my managed objects and I'm gonna add something else. So I'm gonna add another item that I wanna control from a completely different game object. Uh, I wanna control some stuff about my camera. So I'll drag my first person controller camera into here and now I have some other things I can control, like for example, I've got, I have Scion running in this uh, camera, so I can control all the properties for Scion, or I can do the time of day camera that I have set up, or if I want to just do some special things to the camera itself, I can do that. Or, um, so if I want to go and change the field of view on the camera, I'll add this to the stack, so I'll click Rebuild Properties, and now when I show the things that I have, I will set my light back to where I want it and set my field of view to something a bit different and we'll play the scene and let's uh, trigger the zone so now as we walk in see our lighting changes and now the field of view of the camera is starting to change and as we exit the zone, you'll see that it starts to put those settings back to where they were.